Hey everybody, it's me Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 Hz, the universal frequency. So, today uh, I'm gonna go over conditions, uh, your boundaries, and uh, dissolving away at these ego dissolution, ego death, um, and then pretty much going on this, right? So, so conditionings, conditionings are something you pick up. Uh, you're not born with conditions, right? This is kind of like something that you're outfitted with uh, as you start to grow accustomed to your surroundings, right? Um, so you really don't have a lot of conditionings to you. Um, whenever you're born, you're kind of born like a blank canvas right you're not born um, a black man or you're not born a white man you're not born a mexican or you're not born racist or you're not even born a um, socialist you're not born anything uh it's only you pick these up right uh there are identities you pick up identities you identify yourself with anything as you start to uh, be corrupted by the environment, right? Um, any system grows corrupt, right? The corruption itself is not a bad thing. It's It could be antagonized, ontogeny, but it's not actually so, right? Because all systems are corrupt. They come corrupt. They can become corrupt. It's like the fr it's like the the f rotting of a fruit, right? It's a it's a corruption of a system, um, which is just time, nature, and its course. Um, so you pick up conditionings. Conditionings are like um, you're being conditioned to inhabit a inhabit a certain environment right um, conditioning is like they condition um, soldiers or they can even condition uh, people of sport right to to meet a certain criteria to continue playing within a certain domain of the service that's being occupied um, so then you pick up all these different types of programs and conditionings this is just like an outfit for of the soul right um, and these are actually they work against you in a lot of ways because they keep you away from inner divinities or they keep you away from from greater deeper experience so put it like this if uh, in the womb you're cosmic aware you're cosmic consciousness because you're floating in space right you're in a completely different state of awareness the conditions that you pick up as you grow older or as you just live through society they keep you from accessing altered states of consciousness which is very, very important. Um, self entrancement is very important practice, or is, is a very important uh, thing for all of us to be able to utilize because it allows us to alter our state of consciousness. It's a, a liberating thing. It's music, right? There, but but there's like a whole um, conditioning, or there's a whole program that's working against people being able to normalize self entrancement within everyday consciousness or their everyday activities and that little thing right there is uh, not so much a problem but it's it's constricting or it's conditioning right um, 
And in order to really liberate, we have to be able to listen, uh, we have to be able to free ourselves in that music, which the entrancement is just another type of music, right? Um, because the entrancement is an access to deeper states of consciousness, right? Which is omniscience, all knowledgeable, or it's just omnipresence, uh, which is just being completely present, right? Which is deepening one's awareness. Um, so it's really like conditionings that are embedded in our subconscious and can even become unconscious, right? Um, that kind of hold us like uh, chains, right? And it becomes slavery, becomes a lot of different things, which are uh, antagonistic to liberation. Um, very simple message. So, so all you really have to do to, to dissolve away your conditionings is to give a small amount of your effort towards dissolution, dissolving the conditions. You got to see what works best for you. I was talking about resonation very recently. Resonating is actually how you're going to be able to dissolve conditionings. Right? This is getting into more of a science sciences of the whole anatomy right because the anatomy is uh not what you've been told there's far much more to our anatomy where there's a lot more to our organism than what you think the ego is see the ego and the conditions the programs are here to to keep you fixated on the minute when there's uh much more right um so resonation actually does allow you to to dissolve away your boundaries right uh because it brings in it invites in sacred geometries and sacred geometry is very important especially for uh connecting yourself to universal cosmic consciousness right which is a great leap in the direction of death, dissolution of the ego of one's boundaries, cleansing conditions, or freeing yourself from the bondages of the subconsciousness. Um, so, so resonating is just connecting yourself to to the electromagnetic field, right? And this can be done anywhere. You don't need to go anywhere because you're already seeking something which is within you right um this is what a lot of people don't actually tell you you need to go somewhere you need to do something you don't have to do anything um which is contradictory to the everything i set up until now but that is dissolution or that is death uh that's dissolution of the personal will of the collective into absolute oneness um or maybe even just nothingness nothing dissolving uh cessation of being right so let me see um you can find whatever works best for you when it comes to dissolving away your personal boundaries but boundaries don't actually exist uh your ego is fixated on them because this is how the, the, the society is operating, right? So the society is operating with, um, with the support of boundaries, but the elemental forces don't support boundaries, which is all that you're made up of, right? You're made up of... Um, the, the whole physical universe is made up of the five platonic solids, right? You can probably break them down, do whatever you want with them. But the elements themselves and their pure forms don't respect boundaries in any sense, right? 
uh, the air, it doesn't respect your boundaries. Your water never respects your boundaries. Ether definitely doesn't respect your boundaries. Fire and earth, they both don't respect boundaries. Um, art is very an, a very integrated element and is a very bounded element. But even such, it's containing its opposite, boundlessness. Um, as it's emanating from the ethereal force, right? So, even Earth, the most dense of them, uh, the, probably the most integrated element too, is boundaryless. It, it doesn't respect boundaries either. So, None of the elements respect boundaries whatsoever, so there is no boundaries because you are made up of only the elements. Your body is just a combination of them. Uh, and then you can get into the periodicies, right, which are just periodical. Um, but if you just want to break it, if you want to bring it up into circulate in simplicity, then it's just what has been given throughout the ages right um i guess i can just say it like that there's no boundaries though if you're connected with the elemental force you're a boundless being this is what all the mystics are going to tell you um the mystics don't they don't respect your boundaries obviously this is how they stay so transcendental in their nature they don't actually really need anything they can use anything they want but they're just transcendental their nature because they're boundless they dissolve their conditionings right they uh they'll learn everything unlearn everything they'll just throw away everything until they're able to just float away So there's plenty of different ways to get to it, to get to uh, transcendence, right? Or just death, dis dissolution, dissolving your boundaries. Uh, but it's very important that you do this for yourself because it's a it's a deep cleansing that you need. It's a renewal. It's a renewal of the system because um, it's picked up a lot of junk, a lot of viruses, virality. It's picked up. A bunch of different things and uh, it just needs to be cleansed right so you can just do away with it completely which is like the best method just death um, so dissolving the boundaries very very important for, for each and every individual in their personal uh, journey into self-realization, right? And all beings are, are on that very journey of uh, self-realization as well. All beings are, are integrating themselves from unconsciousness to consciousness. So it's just whatever works best for you, most artistic way. Because it's, just, it's like a, a storytelling as well. But you're the story, right? So, resolving the ego, just ego death, falling into the ocean as a as a drop of water, and you're the ocean. Um, not being able to distinguish yourself from another person, it's just deepening your your uh, your blissfulness, right? So, bliss is an emanating an emanation right because bliss radiates love without condition conditions are what keeping you is what is keeping you bonded bounded um this is why they say to love unconditionally without conditions just love this is just radiating love you're not really directing the energy towards 
a specific person because they're holding a certain label which is why you're channeling energy towards that within your within the structure of your conditionings you're just irradiating love like the sun is the sun gives life to all it's just radiating love which is just the bliss the bliss is the pranic force which is all permeating all emanating right um pranic force is life energy the deeper your life energy goes the deeper your bliss goes right which is heat which is the kundalini uh but that's gonna be it for today's video i do thank everybody for watching once again peace out